Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to start the new season, uh, the third season now in the Skybet Championship. Um, yeah, so so I'm going to take you through the transfers and also some other changes, very minor changes that um, to do with facilities and things like that. So, a little bit of a recap. We've been now, we completed two seasons in the Skybet Championship. The first season we came in, I think, at about 21st. Yeah, 21st, so we just escaped the relegation zone. Then last season we finished 16th, so well above the relegation zone. So if you look at the prediction for this year, we're still predicted to be relegated. But I'm hoping we'll be sort of in the top, in the top half this year. Uh, however... Our wage budget and our transfer budget were minuscule this year, uh, so we weren't able to increase the quality of the squad as much as I would have hoped, as we will see in a second. But um, I still think we can do quite well this season. Brief look at finances, just to kind of close that um, theme in the conversation. So we are now one and a half million in the in the white, which is great. I've just invested about 1.8 million, I think, or 1.6 million in new training facilities. Let's see if I can see it. Yeah, about 1.6, I think, because we spent 200,000 just relaying the pitch as well. So 1.6 million in new training facilities that will come around in November, so before the January review, we'll have the new training facilities ready. And we've just recently improved them actually uh, from above average to good or something like that. So let's have a look. Yeah, good, but I can't remember what it was before, whatever the previous level is. So I'm hoping, I'm not sure, I think good has two levels. I guess we'll see, but um, yeah, so that's good. Our youth level has been upgraded to grade 3, but I don't think we're going to see youth leagues this season, maybe next season. Uh, at least they haven't come through yet. The, yeah, no youth leagues for the under-23s and no youth league for the under-18s either. So maybe next season's when they kick in. Unless there's some sort of bug <laughs> that, for some reason, makes them not work, but... Yeah, so hopefully we'll see some youth leagues coming up in the next couple of seasons. Uh, but yeah, the category has been raised to the category number three, which is great. Also, we have just confirmed a new affiliate, senior affiliate. So we're now back with Liverpool again. Um, and again, but I have with the senior affiliates, I've never actually been able to secure a loan from them. Um, so I'm not actually sure how useful, but besides the annual fee, I'm not really sure how useful they are. Um, the annual fee and also we always get like a free friendly once a year, which is quite good to boost finances. Now, as far as transfers, quite a few changes. Um, and but in, the, in terms of players who I thought I was going to, continue to have no longer are with us. So one of them is Francis Okoro, a youth player. There was uh, the backup for Dodds. He's actually decided to go ahead and um, agree a contract with Burnley. I lost quite a few youth players that way, actually. Um, uh, Jake and Yuri were lost that way. Then Aaron, I loaned out. That was on purpose. Morgan Clark, I'll talk a little bit more about that but it, essentially he wanted to leave uh, but no one was buying so I decided to loan him out and uh, whatever how, how I pronounce that name in Gogan uh, I sold him for a profit on purpose as well so that's all good and we also lost a few to retirement so if we look at the free or released players I suppose uh, Greg Spillin, which I was actually hoping to use this season, he decided to not renew his contract, which is fair enough. And these three players I terminated on purpose. They were players that we no longer needed in our youth. youth um, players. Uh, is there like a, a way to see 
retired. Oh, of course, it was on in the last season, wasn't it? So at the end of the last season, both of our left backs retired. So Matthias uh, Oliveira and Max Lowe, they both retired. So we have two two new left fullbacks. And I think as far as... Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Now, we have... As you can see, some familiar names on that transfer list. But I'm going to start with... Um, yeah, I'll start with the left back. So, the left backs... I went... Um, so, I needed to replace two of them. So, now we have no left back. So, I found this um, player, Olivier O'Neill. And actually, there was the only transfer that I paid money for. Pretty much almost consumed the entire uh, transfer budget. There was still some left over, but I needed that that amount to then boost up my wage budget anyway. He's our new left fullback. And I pulled up from the youth Emmanuel Essie, finally securing a senior place in our squad. He's ready, I think, to, to have that. For good. Now on the, in the right wing, as well, the right not the right fullback, wing back, I suppose. We went and got a deal uh, by which we were be able to get Andre. So Andre, if you remember, was with us on loan last season. We were able to secure him for zero. So he was a free transfer um, from his previous club, West Ham. So he's going to be our backup right fullback. Then in the centre back position, again, no changes. The only change really is that we, rather than loan in Scott, we were able to get Scott for a zero transfer as well. So free transfer from Burnley. Actually, no, from Brighton. I didn't realise that. Brighton. Okay. Um. In the f in the fullback, not fullback. Sorry, box to box. In the box box position, as I said, so we loaned out Morgan Clark because he wanted to leave, and we essentially swapped him with Mike Davis. Now, Mike Davis was out on loan last season because he wanted to, to leave, but now he's happy to stay, so we swapped him. He's not very good. It's probably one of our weakest positions. The fullback position is one of our weakest positions at the moment. But it is what we have money for. Can't really improve that. Uh, in in the left wing forward position, uh, we lost Francis, Francis Okora, so the logical alternative is to go back and get Craig Noon back in the first squad, which is fine. And one massive surprise, which you probably you might have read, if you've been following the channel for a bit, you will remember Chaos, or I like to call him Chaos. So we're able to secure... Cows, who was with us a couple of seasons ago and was um, one of the players that helped us uh, be promoted to the championship, he is back. So we tried to get him for a couple of seasons, but he wasn't available for loan. We, we don't have enough money to buy him, but we do have enough money to loan him. So he is back. And one of the positions that we were struggling to get a backup for, we end up, ended up sell, settling for a youth player. So the uh, striker position now has Jake Bailey from my youth set up as a backup. Now the good news about him is that he has lots of room for improvement uh, and he's still young. The bad news is Miles uh, wants to leave so Miles is the main player he wants to he has requested to leave. No one wants to buy him uh, and he's actually slightly too expensive to be sold anyway for the quality that he is. Um, so we might get into a bit of a pickle with that position. Hopefully that we'll have enough money by January. Uh, Dodds, his just keeps improving in value. He's 2.7 worth 2.7 million now. I think it was ever so slightly higher not too long ago, or maybe I'm remembering wrong. But yeah, so yeah, Mark Dodds is improving in value. Hopefully he'll do good things for us this year. And he's got his buddy uh, Chaos back in the squad as well, which is great. 
Um, in other small news, we had another youngster poach from my youth system. So we, the clauses for that will appear in about two years time. That usually that's usually the time frame. Um, and we have no other clauses to uh, buy at the moment, sell at the moment. So this is like an example of what we'll get once the other kid comes through as a real player in the game. So at the moment he, he's like 14 or whatever. So in the couple of summers time, uh, then his clauses will appear. It's not a lot of money, but it always helps the club. A couple of changes in staff, but not nothing major. Uh, we still have the basic staff that we've always had. We've got quite a lot of staff, as you can see. Um, if I just organize this by level and team. So we've got quite a lot of staff, quite a lot of youth staff as well, so coaches and stuff. So, And I still haven't maxed out all of the staff that we can have. So I haven't actually bothered with performance analysts uh, or the other recruitment analysts I could have. Now in the youth teams, I think I've maxed everything out as much as I can have, which is great. So nothing much has changed, really. Um, cohesion, obviously that's a good cohesion because most of the players are still the same players or they are players that have come back, which is great. Uh, Chaos is now our vice captain. He could have been our captain, but I didn't want to demote Mark Dodds, especially because Chaos is only on loan. One, one good news is that Dodds is now a club legend. He's appeared as a club legend now. Tom Yates is still a favorite personnel and we have got no active icons in the club at the moment. So Dodds was a um, club icon and now he's a club legend. So hopefully he'll continue to be with us in the club. He's got a, quite a few years left on his contract. He runs out in about, uh, yeah, roughly three seasons time. Um, Right, let's jump into a match. We're going to play against Cardiff, which is one of our rivals. And this is going to be our starting 11. Um, I'm not sure if I've done the tactics yet. Okay. And I obviously haven't done some of these, but... Um, okay, so... I'm going to go with Wright, who's been our main goalkeeper for the past season anyway. The defense is going to look pretty much the same, except now we have Emmanuel Ezzi, one of our youth. Change here for Mike Davis. Uh, Antonio is out injured, so that's why we're playing with right on the right. And everything else looks fine. I'm not going to play uh, Chaos in this match because he's also kept recovering from an injury. Now I just need to go and double check this because I haven't actually than all of this. I like to have like full lists just in case is one of these pedantic things that I do. I don't actually have to do this, but uh, not that one because he's just backing up for someone else. He's no longer in the main squad. So sometimes during the summer while I'm getting transfers in, I just uh, promote some of the under 23s just for a brief moment. Uh, like uh, Aaron Smith, Aaron Smith was one of them. Just to fill those gaps and then I demote them back to the under 23s once I have a permanent player for that position. And also I've uh, restricted now the number of players in the under 23s to 22 players and the same thing for the under 18s. I like to have just the right amount of players to work with and everyone else either gets their contract terminated or is sold for a profit depending on how valuable they are and or what their contract is like. Um, I don't know if anyone else does this. I like to do it just because if, um, say, uh, 
I subbed odds for someone else halfway through the the match, and we still have someone who can that de who's dedicated and been trained to do free kicks. So that's that's why I'm so um, rigorous with this. But I usually do it off 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 camera, so it doesn't take up episode time. But now you get to see that I do it, which is fine. Um, other things that I do off camera, obviously I do the whole transfers off camera because it. I take my time to kind of go through um, players and stuff and I do the staff off camera as well so essentially what I do is like figure out which contract I want to which staff I want to renew the contract and then go look for other staff um, if I if I think like oh is that someone better out there I'll go look for someone better and if I do find someone I do bring them in so but I always wait for the contract to be over so I don't touch any staff that I still have a per, a, like a contract. If the contract goes to a month to month, then at that point I reevaluate that member staff and see, well, is there anyone else out there who's better? If not, I renew the contract. Most of the time I just renew the contract because at the moment our staff is actually quite good compared to the rest of the league. Um, every now and then it'll be like a coach that I'll bring in or a physio that I'll bring in, but most of the time I just it all just stays the same right let's jump into a match I'm not sure exactly how well we're gonna do it's the first match of the season but yeah we're still big favorites to be relegated um, playing against our uh, rivals here at home, so we need to go a bit more attacking. But yeah, it could, could still turn out to be a loss. We'll see. We will see indeed. Oh. It doesn't seem like lots is going on. Lots is going on in other matches. No, Norwich 3 0 with Hull. Wow. There we go. So first highlight of the game, a corner just misses. That's good for us. So yeah, so the 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 aim for this season is to just now improve. But we want to do better than 16th, essentially. We want to aim higher than what we were able to do last season. Um and see if we can achieve it. Achieve better than 16th. That would be nice. And that would help us to attract... Well, we already attract better players than what we have. But we what we can't do is we can't pay them. Like there were a lot of times where I actually had money for the transfer. Or even if they were like free transfers. But I had money... For like, I thought I had enough money in my wage budget, but the board just wouldn't allow having a, a wage that big or whatever. So we didn't have enough money to invest in the wages, which is why our squad is not as good as it could be. Because we have the interest of players, but we just don't have the money to play those to pay those players at the moment. I'll take a look at the transfer budget in a minute just to see how much we have we have left. But I don't think very much is left at all. Okay, so we're gonna looks like we're gonna start the championship with one loss. Save that one. Okay, 
get one last highlight, I think. MC is just a youth player that's filling in for Dodds, I think. Dodds? No. Um, Anthony Santos. He's offside. Okay, so starting with the loss, but that's fine. Hopefully we'll have some wins along the way. Let's see if we can just fit in a prep for the next match. So the kickoff wasn't great. We always want to start the season with something else than a loss. That's usually a lot more comforting. Sometimes these things can set, can set the momentum for the rest of the season as well. So starting with a loss is not great. Season tickets at the same level as last year. Okay, so let's have a look at finances just to see. Uh, 2.4 million is that? It's exactly the same amount as last year. Okay, cool. So the same level as last year in, uh, like, to the T. Oh, there was something I was going to check out, and I can't remember what it was. Can you remember what it was? It's one of those door moments. Do you see it? Um, yeah, I can't remember what it was. I was going to check something, but I can't remember what it was at all. I did say it, you know, we're going to check after the match, but... I can't remember. I don't know what it was. Should have made a note of it. Um, oh yes, the transfer budget. That was it. So, thank you for reminding me. Um, yeah, so we've got minus six at the moment with 14k left, but can I transfer some of that? Yeah. So minus 5.8k in wages. I'm not sure where these clauses are coming from. They got some money dropping in, but none of the clauses that I have allow me to allow it to happen. So I'm not sure where that came from because I literally just pulled up not recently, like last week in the game, some money over from the transfer budget to the wage budget, completely like completely emptying out the transfer budget to the wage budget. So that. 14k must have come from oh yeah i know i know where it came from there was a transfer quite recently um the the youth player that i sold for 20k i think that's where it came from okay it all looks good here uh, so looking at training mentoring so those are the mentoring groups at the moment just trying to get rid of some of these like unambi unambitious and casual sort of personalities. And the next match is going to be against Norwich, which I will do off camera. And I will be back. Um, and I will be back in the next episode, round about the January review. Um, so we'll we'll see how much the money has lasted at the moment i can see that oh it's already gone down quite a bit uh i can see that 1.2 million disappearing quite swiftly i think um so yeah we'll see how much money we have left uh and we'll also see uh, how the tra the, tra the transfer and wage budget fare I would like to make some improvements in January, but I might not have the funds to do that. So we'll catch up again in January in the game. So in the next episode, um, with you later in the week. And I will see you also on Patreon if you go and check it out as well. Give me a comment there or leave me a comment here. Uh, leave it a like and subscribe as well. Take care. Bye-bye.